It's Veda Day 11, and today you get to see Part 3, the final part of my Lizzie Bennet Diaries tribute in honor of its first birthday. Today you get to hear my thoughts on Dizzy, basically. One of my favorite moments is any costume theater's fits in, uh, at Pemberley. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny, and the reaction that Lizzie has where she's just like, Wait, are you this stiff, socially awkward man that I've been, you know, bad mouthing on my videos for half a year? Because this is not who I thought you were, and it's just, it's just such a great moment for both of them. And I really gained a lot of respect for Darcy as a character in that episode, just because he sees so much of Lizzie that she doesn't even see in herself. Uh, the whole thing of pointing out what a great storyteller she is and how unique it is what she does with her videos, and he clearly appreciates that about her, uh, while at the same time isn't fully comfortable with the videos. And I think that, again, I mean, it obviously shows the depth of his feelings for her, but also his understanding of who she is. And I think um, that's a really important Thing, especially when we're talking about a story about two characters who initially very much misunderstand each other and don't really see who the other person is. And obviously he comes to that realization a lot sooner than she does. And even at that point she still hasn't, you know, figured him out at all or what her feelings are for him. Another moment I really love is near the end, the Q&A number 10 and, and then episode 99, just when when he's really playful with her and we get to see a whole other side to him, you know, he's not the, like, you know, well-bred, must-behave-in-a-proper-way man, and instead he's just this guy who's with the woman that he adores and is having fun with her and, you know, joking with her and uh, teasing her and just relaxing with her, and it's such a... It, it, it's just so nice to see, and I, I love those moments. And I love those moments for Lizzie as well, because you see her so genuinely happy when, for episodes and episodes before that, you have seen her not be happy. You know, there was all the drama with Lydia. She's very concerned about her sister. And then that goes into her uncertainty about Darcy and her obvious confusion over her feelings for him and realizing what she felt for him, but then thinking that she's lost her chance and all of that like it, just that whole dynamic when you you have all of that leading up to it to see her so happy in the end is just it's such a huge reward and a great gift one of my absolute favorite moments from the entire series of Lizzie is in episode 98 in that moment when um she's looking away from Darcy and there's just this expression on her face of, like, just utter defeat. Like, this is it. I've screwed this up. This is not happening. My last bit of hope is gone. And she's sort of, like, you can see in her face that she's given up and she thinks it's over and there is no chance. And then Darcy tells her that, she, that he still feels the same way about her as he did in the fall. And that transition that you see on her face, and this is, like probably one of Ashley's best moments of acting because it's it's all there and it's like seriously like 10 seconds of footage and yet her face goes from that utter defeat to kind of a second of confusion to like processing what he's actually said to that hope being in her eyes and then the sort of uncertainty of well what should I what should I do about this what words can I say to express how I feel and then just making that decision that you know, this is beyond words, I'm just going to act, and I'm going to take this leap, and I'm going to let him know how I feel, and that's when she kisses him, and I think that that, that whole transitional moment, as much as I love the kiss, I love those few moments right before it even more, because it says so much about Lizzie, and it, it's such a payoff of, from all the episodes that we've seen leading up to it, and then, of course, from that point on, everything is just wonderful and romantic and lovely some favorite things it's definitely all the costume theater and particularly I love Lizzie as Mrs. Bennett definitely one of the highlights of the whole series I mentioned this a little bit when I talked about Lydia but the way that Lizzie is with her sisters and how close she is to Jane and 
and by the end how close she is to Lydia and just everything about the the female relationships in the show and it just is fantastic and wonderful. Happy birthday, Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Thank you for being a part of our lives. And I am so glad that you are still on YouTube for us to rewatch whenever we want. <laughs>